In today's brief video, I want to take some time to discuss nicotine withdrawal symptoms. This video is going to apply if you're trying to quit smoking, if you're trying to quit vaping, quit chewing tobacco, quitting nicotine pouches or Nicorette gum, this video is going to help. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs, which are dedicated to helping you quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content, drugs I was once addicted to. So two really simple things that I want you to keep in mind when you're experiencing nicotine withdrawal. Yes, it only lasts typically physically, the symptoms about three to five days. That's where withdrawal peaks. Yes, it's annoying. Yes, it's frustrating. But something you have to keep in mind is there is an end to these symptoms. There is a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to nicotine withdrawal. If you've been struggling with a nicotine addiction, you've been going in and out of withdrawal every 30 minutes to every 60 minutes of your life for the period of time that you spent addicted, right? So here you are, you're hitting your vape, you're smoking a cigarette, 30 minutes later, withdrawal symptoms start to kick in, cravings, anxiety, headache, sweating, frustration, irritability, stomach issues. You smoke another cigarette, you hit another vape, and suddenly those withdrawal symptoms seem to subside. There is no end to addiction. There is no end to that cycle. I promise you, if you've quit vaping, if you've quit smoking, if you've quit chewing tobacco recently, these withdrawal symptoms will end. There is a light at the end of this tunnel, and it's important that you remember that when you're struggling and you're battling with yourself and you're thinking, hey, maybe I'll just have another cigarette. Maybe I'll just hit my vape again. My second piece of advice, the cause of your problem cannot be the solution, which echoes something that I've said before in many videos. You don't need nicotine to quit nicotine. Remember, nicotine is the drug that is responsible for causing your withdrawal symptoms. Now, because you're addicted, because that addictive voice in your brain is so loud, once you enter a state of withdrawal symptoms, your brain is going to tell you, hey, go reach for some nicotine, go get another hit, because your brain views that as a solution because of the amount of dopamine and serotonin and stuff it releases. But it's important that you see nicotine, the drug that you're addicted to, as the cause of your problems, not the solution to your problems. And that can even be said on a larger scale when it comes to nicotine addiction or if you're addicted to vaping. Many times in life, I know when I was addicted, I would get frustrated with a situation. I would get anxious about a situation. I would get excited about a situation. And my brain would tell me, oh, Frank, you're stressed. Here's some nicotine. You're happy. Have some nicotine to celebrate. Nicotine is not a solution to our problems. All it's doing is adding on additional stressors to our lives. Now here I am more stressed about my health. Here I am more stressed about the money that I'm wasting on flavored air or flavored tobacco to suck on. Here I am wasting time in my relationships, hiding it from a significant other, hiding it from family members. Here I am wasting my time. The most valuable thing to a person is the time that you have driving to 7-Eleven at 11 o'clock at night during a snowstorm saying I'm going to get gas just to go buy more tobacco products instead of focusing on my goals, focusing on my health, investing my time into things that actually mean something in my life and move my life forward. So those are the takeaway points. There is an end to the withdrawal symptoms. There is no end to addiction. And you're quitting to put an end to this. That's why you're doing it, because you're excited about the next chapter. You're excited about the new beginning, what your life looks like without this drug, without this substance. S second takeaway point, the cause of your problems, which is nicotine, it's a drug, cannot be the solution. The solutions lie in investing in your health, investing in your time, investing your energy into things that you actually care about, into areas of your life that you actually want to see 
forward momentum occur. The solution to nicotine addiction is taking that addictive mindset, that addiction mindset, and putting it towards something productive in your life. And of course, as always, as I've said in many other videos, and that's why I saved it for the end, because I don't want to waste your guys' time, withdrawal is nothing more than you overcoming and defeating this addiction. This is addiction's last-ditch effort in trying to suck you back in. And today's the day, today's date, today's time. Drop it in the comments below. Today's the day. You're not going to fall for it anymore. I'll see you guys in the comments below and be sure to check out our Get Through 72 Challenge linked in the pinned comment. It starts tonight.